In this session, we will discuss about pregnancy and parturition. Let us start with the pregnancy. Pregnancy is the term derived from a Latin word pre nasi. Pregnancy is derived from a Latin word pre plus another word gnasi. G N A S C I. Pre means before. Gnasi means to burn. To burn. But it's nothing but the before birth. Before birth is the prenatal development that is that means the period of prenatal development this is the period of prenatal development pregnancy is also known as gestation period the gestation is derived from another Latin word, gester. Gester means to bear or to carry in womb. This is the meaning of pregnancy. And pregnancy is also known as gestation period. Gestation or gestation period. Okay, what is gestation? It is again derived from how oh, this is the Latin word. This is also derived from a word jester, jester, G E S T A R E, jester, means to, this is also Latin word, to bear or to carry. In whom? In whom? That is uterus. When the mother carry the developing embryo, that period is called gestation period. This is about, this period is about approximately. Okay? Nine months or two hundred seventy days, we can put it plus or minus seven days. Let us discuss in detail what is pregnancy. It is the intrauterine development of embryo or fetus. Intrauterine development, it is nothing but the development inside the uterus, mother's womb. The intrauterine means inside the inside the Uterus. Development of embryo or fetus. Why always I am uh, using embryo or fetus? Embryo after fertilization, the zygote, from zygote to up to 8 weeks, that is about the 2 months, the developing embryo is called embryo and then embryo after the, from the 9 weeks onwards, from the beginning of the 9 weeks, it is called fetus. So, we have to use the term, two terms. Up to 8 weeks, it is called embryo, then from 9 weeks onwards, it is called fetus as the all organs are developed. Okay, the 
intrauterine development of the embryo or fetus is called is the pregnancy it is also known as it is also known as gestation period pregnancy is also known as gestation period if i am using a word period that definitely in between the time in between two events the time in between two events then what are the two events that is starting from fertilization okay up to the parturition what is fertilization we have discussed all, already that is the fusion of the male and female gametes or fertilization of the egg by the sperm that ends with the intermingling intermixing of the chromosomes maternal and paternal chromosomes similarly what is parturition it is the delivery of the fully grown fetus it is nothing but delivery or giving birth the delivery of the fully grown fetus that is parturition this period is about in average in average it is 266 days in average it is 266 days that is nothing but 38 weeks okay that is that is 38 weeks from the fertilization if we are telling 38 weeks then it is counted from fertilization from fertilization it is 38 days from the beginning of last menstruation menstrual cycle menstruation last menstruation or menstrual cycle it is forty weeks am i clear to all of you it is forty weeks when it is counted from the last menstrual cycle that is the beginning what we are calling beginning the first day of menstrual cycle if the it is counted from the last menstrual cycle okay but in every spot we say this is a 138 weeks from fertilization or 40 weeks from you can count the days for for it would be 280 days is it okay but in generally we are saying that is 9 uh, months about 9 months we are saying about 9 months or 270 days in generally what we are saying but scientifically or biologically we have to count from fertilization or from the beginning of the last menstrual cycle however this gestation period again is divided into three phases by the health workers health providers sorry health providers these doctors the physicians have divided it into three phases that that is gestation can be 
divided into three phases that is first trimester second trimester and third trimester the term used is trimester clear then first trimester means first weeks first week up to the 12 12 week that is the period from the beginning of the first week to end of 12 week after the fertilization then 13 week 13 week from the beginning of the 13 week up to the 28 week end of the 28 week is called second trimester and third trimester is that is beginning of the 29 week up to 40 week that is you have to say from fertilization after fertilization or after the means you are counting from the last menstrual cycle accordingly you have to count 29 week to 38 or as you are using the you are counting 48 weeks what are the events the development occurs during this trimester just in a brief uh, i am telling you by the end of the first trimester all the organs of the fetus are developed okay by the end of the fifth month it is the second trimester ends towards the 28 weeks but by the end of the fifth month the hairs develop on the head by the end of the second trimester the hairs all throughout the means the hairs cover the whole body okay then by the end of the third trimester the fetus is fully grown and ready to deliver before going to parturition note these points what we have discussed so far but do you know the first organ formed in the embryo yes it is heart embryo heart heart of the embryo do you know the sign of the development of the embryo first sign okay that is the heart sound sound of the sound of the heart sound of heart is observed by stethoscope okay no 